Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I hope you're doing all right and I hope you're ready for another session of building because we're still nowhere near the point where we could actually put animals in the zoo. But I have uh, made a few decisions on what I'm going to do. First of all, let's get rid of this path. So I've decided that I'm going to do a park sort of thingy here. And we're actually going to put flamingos in there because Stupid me wants to start with European animals, and um, you'll if you go through the list, you'll actually notice that there's not a lot of European animals. Like I could put doll sheep on there, but like they're already in North America, I could just sneak them in there. But um, they're not technically speaking from there, so like all you have is um, the, the flamingo, which you could sort of put into Europe, right? The gray seal. Um, one of the bears. I already forgot which one. Hey, game, help me out here. Um, where is it? Reindeer. Yeah, you could get reindeer in there. Um, I'm just randomly clicking right now because, yeah, I'm in mean the timber wolf. And was that it? Worst case, we can just put like a, um, you know, a polar bear in there. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there's not a lot of animals that will actually fit into our European setting. Sadly, where are all the European brown bears? We have so many bears, where are they? Well, we, we can sneak the polar bear in there. So we're just going to have to have a polar bear, I suppose. But I'm starting off with flamingos, because I think they fit the general vibe here quite well. And we're gonna have this big flamingo area here with a big like garden thing and i'm gonna do like small glass houses on the side it's gonna be a huge habitat for flamingos i don't care and um i was thinking i might put some you know of these guys in it not that they fit either but who cares um so yeah for now that's sort of the plan and uh these side areas here we're gonna turn into one side I wanted to do like an info building, a bigger one, and on the other side we're going to do a sort of store for souvenirs, you know, those are usually near the exit, and since this is the entrance and the exit, that's how we're going to do it. So I'm just going to start, I suppose, let's actually, let's start with the habitat, why not? So I'm going to use hedges, since I'm actually going for that whole, uh, you know, garden vibe. Um, let's see how well we can do that because no those of you who know me already know that uh, I'm always a bit of that you know I always take a little while to actually finish habitats because I'm too stupid to do walls properly also I know that this episode is going to be a little late today and I'm sorry I am um, was held up at university because um, timetables don't really matter anyways. And when you say it takes to 7 p.m., then that's just joking, you know, it doesn't really. People should just plan in an extra hour. <laughs> no, but um, let's see. I want it to be like 6.5 meters, but I can't do that because if I do six, there's this obvious like corner here. Oh well, either way, we're gonna have this nice hedge. Uh, we're obviously gonna lower it, right? Obvi no, 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 no. I mean, that was the right thing, but you know, <laughs> lower all of it to like a meter, which is the minimum that works for most animals. And then we're going to do a little uh, lake thingy in here. I would love to do this with peafowl actually, but peafowl are Indian, like exclusively Indian. Uh, where are they, anyways? Indian peafowl, there, yeah. I, I can't really sneak those into your room. <laughs> As much as I would like to, because they are very well known for being in, like, um, European gardens, right? But yeah, I'm not... Oh, are you kidding me? Not quite gonna be able to get away with that. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a big one, right? Since the zoo is gonna be really, really big anyways. It's not symmetrical and that hurts. Let's retry here. It's still not going to be symmetrical. Uh, 
Because if I go to 9, it's going to be just, uh, just a thing too long. And if I go to 8, it's not going to be long enough. Yeah, see this? This is why I hate this. The fact that, like, you know, you have to take a 2 meter fence because... I can't just make it longer, you know? Um, okay, I mean, I guess it's just not gonna be, it's just not gonna be symmetrical. And on both sides here, we're gonna have like small-ish glass houses, but for the sake of um, planning, I'm just gonna do walls for now. And, um... Gonna curve this over here, hope that this is somewhat straight. It's not, is it? It's not. Cool. This is really, really, maybe I shouldn't make it this big. I mean, like, I do want a big habitat, but I don't want it to be, like, giant. Right? Why did you even go there? Is there, like, an angle snap here? Yeah. Cool. No, that's one too small. Let's go an additional one up. There we go. Come on, there we go. I mean, that's not going to be like the, the rough um, outline of our little garden for the peafowl. Not peafowl. I'm doing flamingos. Maybe I am doing peafowl. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are we doing flamingo or peafowl? I'm not quite sure. Like, they are temperate. I could get away with just plants from temperate Asia, but I don't think that... Ah, uh, temperate. I don't think that... Mm, I mean, it, it, it would work you probably wouldn't be able to tell a difference. I'm doing peafowl. I don't care. I'm doing peafowl. I know that it doesn't fit, but um, that's just how we're going to do things here. All right, so next I need a guest gate. For which we're going to have to eat out this one. You'll see why soon enough. Because the game needs this much distance for some reason to place the gate. Um, but that's okay. No, no, no. Grass. Yes. Good. And uh, we're going to have like a small path go through this. A small path go through this. Right. And then at the end... Is this all straight? Yeah. No, I have to... No, no, no. Get rid of the wall. This is going to go into another building sort of thing. No, oh, Atlantic Grid, please. Thanks. There we go. Uh, we're going to do like a sort of... Maybe I'm going to do like a just garden here and a building here. I think I'd prefer that, looking at it now. I'm also going to have to do the fences symmetrically, but we can do that later. And then here it will lead into a big like, yeah, that will work. That'll work really, really well. And we're going to... I think if I go into nature, please tell me you're okay with- I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's okay with it or not, but look, I can just do this. And pretend that the gate is pretty and not just this weird wooden thing. <laughs> and then we can decorate it. And then we can like do a glass, like, you know, the typical classical glass house. It's not very creative. We all know what I'm doing. Uh, let's just look for glass, and we're going to go with... I think I went rounded bits too. And straight bits. So I'm just gonna go and start off with getting a rough um, blueprint. I'm doing a 3x3. Three three. Well, actually, let's do 3x3, three three, but with um, curved rolls. <laughs> let's just make it more difficult for everyone, right? It's gonna have a door, of course. Uh, for some reason, I'm decently good at building glass houses, even though all of my other builds are usually quite crappy. So, yeah. And then inside this glass house, we could do, um, like, some... I don't want to say tropical animals, but... You know, like... Something. I don't know, what do you put in a glass house? We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. For now, I just 
Just gonna build it. No, no, I'm just gonna build a glass house. Come on. Here we go. You two, and then we need another wall here. I love that they have like large windows for a glass house when it's literally a glass house. Like, I guess okay, but but okay, sure. And don't worry, it's not gonna be this boring. We're gonna um, make this look a lot more interesting very very soon. I just want to get a decent layout first. Because this is going to be like a small sort of castle thing, right? Leading into the whole park. Is this symmetrical? One, two, three, four, let's do five. Um, so that we can have some sort of building instantly in the park to give off this, you know, the whole the park is not flat vibe. When I do large parks, I always try to make sure that I have some sort of big element at some point. Because otherwise you're giving off this idea of like a really really small... Like this huge park, but everything around it is really really small. Which is just a little weird in my opinion, and I usually try to avoid that by doing these kind of things. Uh, we're gonna fill these holes here with like... Greens, don't worry, like there's gonna be plants. But I'm just not going to make that part of the habitat. Mm, so let's see how I'm going to do this with the fences here. Also, I still don't have a timer going because I'm stupid. Because even though I would be capable of like, actually having a second monitor right now, I'm not using it because I'm just that kind of stupid. See, so all we have to do is go here. Right there. Here. And take a glass barrier and do this. Whee! Come on, go on. And poof, we have our full habitat with a full barrier, I think. Yeah. We just need a door. <laughs> I hate these wooden habitat gates. Like, why can't we have like half height habitat gates? Or something like that? No, no matter where I put it, it's gonna look weird. I'm gonna do like a little staff zone here, but it's still gonna look weird. Like, you can't tell me that it won't. Then they cannot, and then I can go and. I don't think I want to do water in here actually. I think it's better this way, and we're gonna do like some um, fountains. Here in construction, in fountains. No, not glass, just fountains. Wait, fountains. <laughs> we get these big fountain pieces, right? And I think I'm just gonna do like. Maybe a fountain around here. Can I have the, 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 the position stuff, please? Thanks. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's make this really, really... <laughs> yeah, okay, no, no, let's, let's not go quite that far, shall we? Uh, what do I want to do? Maybe just... Um, oh yeah, sure. Let me do that, actually. Since it's supposed to be a big... There we go, like a, a big well thingy. And the peafowl can probably use it, I think. Do I want to have a, a, another piece of top? I'm not quite sure. Can you go up? Is that too much? No, no, this is like a classical garden. There is no such thing as too much. Now we could put like all of these planters everywhere. Decorating this is going to be a nightmare, but I'm going to love it. Now, obviously, since we are uh, using these plants, we can also go and do these. Just like pick up the topiary head and use that as a like barrier in here for um, decorative purposes. I'm not going to build a full maze. Like I uh, do not have that much patience in life. To repeatedly build like full hedge mazes. No, 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 no. I'm back. <laughs> but I am going to actually do some like basic design here. I've done this before. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this is something I do regularly because, of course, it is. Because it involves plants, and we all know that I like that. As long as I can build and the building involves plants, I'm happy. And then we're just gonna do this on the same side, since, yeah, the basic idea of this is that it's like a 
sort of royal garden, but the royal people had too much money, so they got animals that most people just couldn't afford. Because they were rich. They were roommates. No, okay, no roommate memes today. <laughs> okay, so... Let's make this one a little wide, why not? I don't think it matters. Is this the same height? Probably... Yeah, it's close enough. So we've got this basic set up for our uh, garden. I'm obviously going to fill that. And we're obviously going to have to, you know, put a building in here to make it look like it's a garden and not just whatever it's trying to be. But I think it works really, really well with the basic vibes that we've got so far. Like for the entrance area, since it is just an entrance area. And like people are going to be sitting around and maybe waiting for their family members to appear because they were too late because they didn't catch the train and now they have to wait for half an hour but they already entered the zoo because you know who waits in front of the zoo exactly no one so they went in and now they're sitting around reading the like leaflet thingy that they got with all the maps and they're just sitting around just waiting just chilling <laughs> this is way too accurate <laughs> at least for me I'm the sort of person who's always too early and then always has to wait for everyone. And while that's okay, it also means that I'm always the person that's just sitting there reading the random leaflets and pamphlets and whatever. Okay, that should work for now. I'm also gonna... How do you guys feel about like actually giving the, the peafowl an indoor area here? What do you think about that? Like, you know, taking these and these out and putting... I guess I'd have to put something in to make it look not completely stupid. But we have like these glass house walls, right? Like these, like these. I guess the peafowl could maybe fit underneath that. Okay, let me just do this the proper way. I could take this here and then split it from the group. And then move it up like this, right? And then the people should technically speaking be able to walk underneath that. And then they could have their small indoor area. I'm not sure what I would use to restrict them indoors, but probably the same walling that I would use for the outer area. Yeah, yeah, I think I like this. Um, yeah, now I have to do more null berries here. Um, I'll do that. Uh, this is going to be a tricky barrier. Ah. We no, 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 no. I need a no barrier that does not connect. There we go. And then, like, you know, just give them space till here, maybe, and then close it off. Because if that's if there's like bad weather, right? No, 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 no. Oh, I needed to go all the way around here. Yeah. This bad weather. They could have like an indoor thingy and the visitors could still go here and, you know, take a look at the peafowl. And, oh my god, we could make like a, like a, we could turn this into like an actual tea room. Like, there's the royal gardens and then you go in and then you can have tea and biscuits. Not that we sell tea and biscuits, but you know what I'm thinking, right? Maybe you don't. Um... But like we could turn this into a um sort of like tea house place where people could go to eat and have drinks and all that because i can fill all of this with pathing perfectly because that's how good i am at building just kidding but yeah it does work out quite well because for once everything i do is actually straight not usually my forte, but this works. So, you know, we could turn this into like a sort of indoor house, coffee place, whatever you want to call it. What do you guys think about that? Because I think it would be pretty cool, honestly. To just have that sort of thing, because I mean, that's sort of the vibe we're going for, right? We are going for that like rich, fancy zoo thing. 
and it would probably help. Anyways, I'm just gonna uh, continue with some construction stuff. So that we hopefully get somewhere. I'm using breeze blocks here, aren't I? Yeah. So the next step is to take these lower breeze blocks. Right. Mm, I think I want one meter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go take them. Put them here, remove them from the group, and then just rotate them around until they're perfectly in the middle like this. That'll work. And then this is going to get its own uh, layer, obviously. And then we can go and put that around the whole building, since the whole building should still be on the same layer. I was too optimistic about this, wasn't I? It already stopped working on this corner. Okay, sure game. I love you too. But I think this corner already doesn't connect properly, does it? You know what? We're just gonna cheat our way through this. That's okay. Same thing as before. Click the wall, click the breeze block, and then just mash it until it fits. Because I do want it to fit. I do genuinely want it to look good. You know, the zoo isn't going to crash because of the animals. It's going to crash because of the unnecessary amount of pieces that I'm using for building. But I don't care. Are you kidding me? Am I going to have to redo this for every layer? No, me too. I mean, it works. It also doesn't work over here, does it? No. I'm always too optimistic about these things and then they turn out weird. Oh. It'll be okay. I guess. The issue is that obviously these objects aren't meant to overlap, so when you force them to overlap, the game is like, no. Just straight up, no. <laughs> it's funny how on this side it works like a tiny bit better than on the other, but it still doesn't really work. But it's okay. We're gonna like use a lot of plants and stuff to hide it anyways, I just don't want it to be fully glass. Because let's be honest, that would be unrealistic. No one would have full glass walls anywhere, not even in like the fanciest tea house in the whole world would you have full glass walls. No. So this is obviously not gonna... no. But I can use it on the other side still. And yeah, I'm gonna um, put the buildings and such in the Steam Workshop because if I'm spending a lot of time doing something, then uh, I might as well make others capable of using it. I'm trying to click the wall. Thanks. No, that was the wrong button. Come on. Come on. Just a few millimeters. There we go. That's perfect. It looks a little odd around the edges, but I'll figure something out. Let's see if it fits over here as well. No, of course it doesn't. Cool, it's not. I'm just waiting for the roof to not fit and me having to realign all of the flooring for the roof to fit. Just no. Just no. Yep, can I please go into this group? Yeah, thanks. Well, I'm almost done with the weird, uh, <laughs> the weird breeze blocks, so... That's a good sign, right? I don't know. I always feel like I'm spending too much time with, like, these little details, but... You know, I might as well. I'm gonna spend uh, a lot of time building a zoo, I might as well... Uh, I just placed that wrong. I might as well spend a lot, a lot of time building a single zoo. Do -do -do. Here we go. And these I can just slam on because the front door isn't gonna get anything. See, now we have like this thing that actually looks like it could be a real building instead of just a big bowl of glass. And I'm gonna like do top floors. 
obviously. And then I'm also going to, because Pfal can't jump over one meter barriers, I'm going to go and take these and put them right in the corners. There we go. And, um... It, it, it lines up almost perfectly. That's that. That's fine. This does not almost line up perfectly, so I don't like it. There we go. It, once again, it's going to look a little weird in the corner, but that's fine. So this is then like our our habitat for the peafowl, like the the blueprint for the habitat for the peafowl. And this is going to be a big. Big um, tea, drinks, food place. Maybe we'll, I don't know, we'll sell stuff, I suppose. <laughs> like people come in and they just get to choose between like the gift store and the big tea house with the peafowl and the store to buy like plushies and the store to buy video cameras and umbrellas for some reason. And, and yeah. They still haven't seen anything other than people. Oh well. But yeah, um, I will have to do stuff buildings if it went peafowl in here. So that's probably what we're going to do soon-ish. For now, this is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any input on the crazy peafowl thing, <laughs> please put it in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope I'll see you again next time. Bye!